From the patient files of Dr. Jeremiah Arkham, director of Arkham Asylum. Patient Abner Krill, also known as the Polka Dot Man. The patient suffers from delusions, delusions of grandeur, and possibly hallucinations. I do not. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Session 1. So, Abner, this is your first offense. Is it? Or have I simply never been caught before? No, I'm pretty sure you would have been. I would not have been. Then why were you caught this time? Because of Batman. Yes, Batman, my nemesis. It wasn't Batman who caught you. Huh? What do you mean? Of course it was Batman. And you weren't even there. What do you know? Uh, it says here in your files you were overpowered by a Mrs. Amanda Cheng, a 62-year-old woman. What? Let me see that. You can't touch my files. No. Sorry. <clears throat> now, where were we? Right, Mrs. Amanda Cheng. It was Batman. She was Batman? No, idiot. It was Batman. Batman caught me, not some 62-year-old woman. So you're saying the files are wrong? Yes, obviously. And what exactly was the nature of your crime? Why did Batman arrest you? Do you live under a rock? How could you possibly not have heard of my masterful caper? It's all over the news. Enlighten me. It was a brilliant crime. I don't know how Batman discovered it. I mean, I'm not a fool. I didn't send him any riddles like that cheap wannabe. Go on. Like I said, it was brilliant. I had it all worked out like clockwork. I was gonna hit the spot service cleaning company. Clean out their safe. I had a mole on the inside, you see. An employee, I managed to persuade him into telling me everything. Where the safe was, the guard patrol, all of it. It would have been a cinch. If only it wasn't for the Batman. He must have been tailing me all along. How else did he deduce my plans? I bet his trunks get all sweaty whenever I'm out. Knowing that I, his greatest adversary, may strike at any moment. Whenever you're out, but you've never been to prison before. Huh? Says here you worked as a package delivery man for eight years. You've got a spotless record, not a single offense, not even a parking ticket. You have no criminal history whatsoever, Abner. This was your first crime. And it wasn't some clever heist. You attempted to steal a bottle of laundry detergent from Cheng's convenience store. What? Are you insane? <sighs> I'm not the insane one here, Abner. Well, your stupid files are all wrong. I did pull off that caper and Batman didn't have me. How could I, the great polka dot man, the greatest supervillain of them all, be overpowered by a 62-year-old woman? Don't be silly. Says here she grabbed you in a chokehold and held you like that until the police arrived. <laughs> How ridiculous. No, it was a fight between me and Batman. We were locked in combat for over two hours. Fists against fists. Two arch foes duking it out in the battle of the century. He finally got me with a shower of explosive batarangs. But only after I'd nearly destroyed him with my dastardly dots of doom. Yes, your dots. Let's talk about them. Just what is the deal with your dots? Well, you see, it's my costume. My remarkable costume is outfitted with a multitude of removable dots. Deadly dots. Once removed, I can shape them into anything. Bus saws, force shields, flying saucers, you name it. My dots can do it all. I invented them myself, you know. 
My mom made a costume, of course. We have your costume in our possession. It's just a piece of cloth, Abner. A white leotard with painted on dots. <laughs> well then it can't be my costume. My costume is an intricate piece of advanced technology. It was granted to me by aliens. I thought you said you and your mum made it. Well, we did most of the work. The aliens gave us the blueprints, though. Why would aliens give you blueprints to this costume? I don't know. They never said. They must have recognized my potential for greatness. Unlike Sally and my dad. They never understood me. She called me a loser. Sally? Who's that? My girlfriend. Well, I wanted her to be my girlfriend. But she just laughed at me. I, I... And your father never appreciated you? No. I wanted to be a comic book artist, but he just yelled at me. Destroyed my artwork. Not a viable career, he said. Well, look at me now, Dad. I'm the greatest supervillain that ever lived. I'm the arch nemesis of the Cape Crusader. I cross swords with the Dark Knight himself. Abner, you've never met Batman. You are not a supervillain. There is no alien costume. And there are no supernatural dots. Yes, there is. No, Abner. There isn't? No, it's all delusions. You... You... You're just trying to deceive me! Well, it won't work on a mighty polka dot man! Did Batman send you? Is he too afraid to face me himself? Too afraid to go up against my dots of doom? Would you like to draw comic books again, Abner? Huh? Comic books. I could arrange so that you get some drawing paper and a pencil. You could draw your comics again. And this time no one will destroy them. C comic books? Um, I, I guess. Sure, sure. I, I guess I would like that. Good. I'll have the material delivered to your cell. You've only committed a minor offence, Abner. You still have a chance. A chance to live a normal life. Think about that. A normal life is not for the mighty polka dot man. Still, think about it regardless. <laughs> <laughs>